when Talib says that she is comforted by the fact that her Palestinian people created a safe haven for Jews, the factual dishonesty in that statement, and I'm not sure she knows it's dishonest, <laughs> the inaccuracy of it is so gross that you have to have the grown-ups say, you have to have Pelosi say to her, come into my office. I want to explain to you where the Grand Mufti of Jerusalem was. I want to show you the picture of the Grand Mufti sitting with, Jeruz with Adolf Hitler, promising Hitler that he would do in Eretz Yisrael, the Middle East, what Hitler was trying to do to the Jews in Europe. Do you understand that the Palestinians worked to keep the doors closed to Jews in World War II? The Palestinians did not help the Jews get to Israel, and the Jews did not destroy the Palestinian people. They did not take anybody's land, and they did not destroy human dignity. And there's an ongoing problem now. We're trying to solve it. But to think of that, to suggest that is history. And when Talib says that, and it's picked up by CNN, MSNBC, ABC, CBS, on the internet, there are people who don't know enough to know, well, that's historically ludicrous. It's historically ludicrous. The Tlaib issue actually was, was taken out of context, and, and we did an explainer on this in the Jewish Telegraphic Agency. What she said was that she's comforted by the fact, and this is, this is her narrative, that her family was displaced and at least they were displaced to create a safe haven for people who were just devastated by the Holocaust. I, 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 I am, you know, there, there okay. is a historical record of displacement of Palestinians from the land of Israel. And she wasn't saying that Palestinians created the Jewish state. So I, I disagree with Rashida Tlaib on most Israel issues. But, but not this one? But she, no, I, I, I'm not a Palestinian. That's not my people's narrative. And you said you disagree on some issues. Right. Not this one? I don't think it's an issue. I think that people misquoted her. Okay. I'm now going to read what she said. Mm -hmm. And she didn't say what you said. When I think of the tragedy of the Holocaust, there's a calming feeling in the fact that it was my ancestors, Palestinians, who lost their land, and some lost their lives, their livelihood, their human dignity, their existence in many ways, had been wiped out. And some people's passports. I mean, just all of it was in the name of trying to create a safe haven for Jews. Right. Post, not right? That's what she was saying. Displaced. Yeah. That's displacement. Yes. And That's what I said. To, to do what? To create a safe haven for well, Jewish people. Well, they weren't people. displaced because they were trying, no Palestinian was trying to create a safe haven that's, for Jews. That's not what that quote says. She I'll said read it, it again. <laughs> I mean, okay. was in the name of, she feels comforted by the fact that. What they did was in the name of trying to create a safe haven for Jews. As if I, we were welcoming and you. And I love the fact, she says, it was my ancestors that provided it in many ways. Her ancestors did not provide. We're, we're hearing that differently then, because I hear those same words as, at least all these bad things that happened to my family were in the name of creating a state. I don't hear this as, my people opened our doors. That's not what she's saying. That is what she's saying. I and mean, I guess did, this, is, is that this, what this is why there's Torah, yeah. I guess, and why there's drug. <laughs> it seems so obvious. I mean, to me. the Peshat what, of that, I think we're interpreting differently yes, than you yes, are. I, I, Peshat, I, the Peshat I, okay. is all of it was in the name. In the name. Was it in the name of trying to create a safe haven? Mark, what? what was it in the name? Yes. No, it was <laughs> it not was. in the name. Okay, so you and I disagree. Now, factually, no I Palestinian did anything. No, so they were displaced to create what's states. What's it mean in the name? What's it mean? What's the phrase mean? In the name of? To create. <laughs> That's correct. Nothing was right. done to create. I wrote an article on Tlaib. Have you met, read my article on Tlaib? <laughs> Go to Haaretz, you will find it. And, what did you uh, say, bottom line? I ripped her to pieces. But, uh, uh, you know, the heart of the matter was she's the most dangerous of them all. Because, not because she's a Palestinian. I mean, we need, we need to deal with Palestinians but because she is a, a, a committed one-state person, and she makes spurious arguments, in my view, utterly spurious arguments, in, in my view, um, on, on why there can only be one state, which is not going to be a binational state, which is what she's talking about. It's going to be an Arab state. Uh, part of the reason why we need to be a little more uh, committed to the notion of two states, because otherwise we end up with Tlaib. 
so in any case, I, I haven't been the least bit hesitant about going, uh, you know, going after her. And I, I think of the squad, she is the one, as, as an Israel lover, that I'm, I'm most concerned about because A, she's sophisticated, and B, at the same time, she also seems to be ignorant about, uh, about many of, of uh, the realities. Uh, I, I, but I just want to—I I, want to suggest there needs to be outrage on the other side, and there needs to be a, a reluctance to suggest that people who are torn by this are somehow, you know, excusing or dismissing the Holocaust. Nothing could be further from the truth.